From the U.S. Open, it's Tennis Channel Live. Pre-game coverage, day six from the Big Apple. The players will remember this U.S. Open as the year they traded the glitz and glamour of Manhattan for a Marriott in central Long Island. Most will tell you it's been worth it. The one who gets the trophy and the $3 million check next weekend will tell you it's really been worth it. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tennis Channel Live from the Open. Glad you are with us from our L.A. studios alongside Hall of Famer Jim Courier. And look, Paul Anacone is here uh, for the day. I'm Brett Haber. What, to what do we owe the privilege, sir? Well, you know, I feel pretty lucky to be here. I've been watching you guys like... Uh all the fans at home. And I felt badly yesterday, Jim. I heard about the parking situation. Mm -hmm. Was really concerned. I, I, I actually had, this is the active word, had the conciliatory gold standard donut for Jim today. I had that for him. Paul's a Saturday donut. But right. I drove in this morning and it was pretty shocking. I drove in, I got up to my, my usual spot. I don't know if I got, the guys have a shot of this or not, but I drove up to my usual spot and not only did I not have a spot, there was no name anywhere. So now I'm in metered parking out on the street. So if I have to leave halfway through the show, we know why. And Jim, your donut, mm -hmm. my guilt is gone. You're going to have it? Well, I'm on really? a keto diet anyway, so I couldn't have that. So. Organic. Breakfast of champions. He's so territorial, this guy. Um, cool. I guess. Uh, it was nice of you to bring donuts just for yourself. Here's what's <laughs> coming up on the show today. Uh, we had chaos at the Open yesterday. We had a match delayed several hours as health officials debated whether a player was safe to take the court or not. We'll explain that whole mess. Paul will have a new installment of Coaching with the Bigs. Today he speaks at a Krispy Kreme, apparently, with Coco Golf's <laughs> father, Corey. And uh, Steve Flink has a new book out on uh, Pete Sampras. Second look at his career. We'll talk to the Hall of Fame author about the Hall of Fame player at the bottom of the hour. But first, we must say good morning to the fourth member of our team, Hall of Famer hey. Martina Navratilova is uh, lower Hi, right. Uh, good morning, Marty. And, and just to pick up on, on the chaos from yesterday, I, I know Jim was disappointed about not having a parking spot here. I I do think he took things a little too far with what he did this morning when he arrived. I don't know if Lindsay hey. is going to be okay with that, Jim. She, Haber, you can Ooh. attest that my handwriting is so poor, there's no <laughs> way I could have written it that clearly. Well done. I like that. Jim, I think that you could have just been more patient. Lindsay also deserves a Where's spot. Wertheim? Martina, what did you do He's with He's looking him? for my parking space. That's where Wertheim He's is. He's still in his room 221 at the Hampton Inn on the, on the road again. Uh, I did not know you were a diva, Jim, and now I didn't know that uh, there was that much snark in uh, inside Paul Anacone. So <laughs> learn something every day. <laughs> Snarky and sarcastic. That's what the first thing everybody says about uh, Anacone. 